Hey, today I'm going to talk about a really useful package um, that helps you manage more effectively your window movement inside of Emacs. If you ever do, you know, web development stuff, you realize that um, it is a lot faster if you have your web browser, um, your terminal, and your source code available so that you can debug things faster. Or maybe you just want to, you know, modify the application a lot faster and not having to worry about switching between windows and whatnot. Or in my case, I will have to switch workspaces because of my window manager. So the default uh, behavior that Emacs has is um, calling a function named other window. And that is bound to control XO. And that is fine. I mean, that, that works. That, uh, you know, cycles through the... Uh, windows inside of the frame but you can tell right away that if i wanted to get to you know window number four i would have to do uh, you know one two three times and that just keeps you know going the the more that you're uh, into the workflow the more you have to keep switching between windows so and there i mean let's say that you wanted to get to window number uh five there's one over here so you have to do one, two, three, four, four times, right? Um, there is also the option that you can call uh, other window with a negative count so that it will take you to the previous uh, window if that makes sense to you, right? But then again, you will have to maybe bound other window to a different command or maybe you have to create your custom function for it. And that, that also works. In my case, I, I like to have uh, just one key binding so that I can switch to different uh, windows. I mean, to specific windows to, to be more accurate in that sense. All right, and that package is called window mode. And you can see that uh, the, uh, in the mode line, there is a orange number uh, attached to each window. And that identifier is generated by this package. So what it does, it's, it, it allows you to go to that specific identifier. They suggest using uh, control C W and then, you know, type in the number that you want. I personally have it bound to C W and then I can type in either one, you know, two, three, four, five, or maybe six because I have it bound to my OBS instance over here. Uh, but let's say that I wanted to go to window number four and here it's uh, my cursor, right? You will also move it to a different uh, workspace if you're using EX EXWM. So if I wanted to go to OBS, I would do CW6 and you can't see, but it, it focused the other window. And uh, like I said, it, it's really helpful whenever you're working with tons of different frames and windows simultaneously. And the other thing that I suggest, I mean, if you don't want to do it like this, uh, I do suggest that you yeah, that you bind uh, the other window command to a different keystroke because it really gets tiring. I mean, I got tired of doing this all the time. So I, I used to bound it to meta O, uh, but then I switched it to Q and, you know, uh, it works great for me. And in fact, I use it uh, a lot of time, especially since, I mean, if it's the next window, I don't have to do uh, CW2 instead of just do uh, Q and then I will focus that one or, you know, CW5. It depends. I mean, if the, the idea is that you press as less keys as possible to accomplish something, that is my way of viewing things. But anyways, if you give it a shot, uh, and you have problems or you just want to know something, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to, to help you out with anything that I can. And you know, thank you for watching.